Spore prints are deposits of spores from a mushroom. On a mature mushroom, many thousands of spores grow on just one gill or on a small piece of a mushroom. So in order to see a group of spores and their color, a spore print can be made. Spore prints are usually white to cream, black, or shades of red, purple, or brown. A mushroom cannot be identified from its spore print alone, but a spore print can be used as one of the characteristics for identifying it. Although the spore print is generally used to help identify the genus of a specimen, on occasion it can be used to help distinguish between similar species. If you already know the color of the spores, pick a colored paper that will highlight the spore color. Many drop white spores, some are black, brown, or cinnamon colored. If the color is uncertain, half the cap can go on dark paper and half on light. Or a sheet of clear plastic can be used to move the print to a darker or lighter surface for improved contrast. This image can be printed and used to assist with identification. With these mushrooms, the spores lie on the surface of the gills. Carefully remove the stem and place the cap with the gills facing down on a piece of aluminum foil, a white piece of paper, an index card, or a glass microscope slide. Mycologists often use glass slides which allow for quick examination of spores under a microscope. If the mushroom is a bit dry, you can add a few drops of water on top of the cap. This can help release the spores. Cover the cap with a paper cup or glass and leave for 2 to 24 hours depending on the humidity and freshness of the mushroom. The spores will fall on the paper, foil, or glass, making a spore print pattern. When the mushroom is removed, the color of the spores should be visible. If the mushroom has a stem and is soft and fresh, such as a bolete, the spores will be inside the pores underneath the cap. A spore print can be made in the same way as for a gilled mushroom. The spore deposit will reflect the size and shape of the pores. Harder mushrooms like polypores take a long time to mature and produce spores, making it more difficult to get a spore print from them. They can also live a long time after they produce and disperse their spores. The spore bearing surface always faces down towards the ground as the polypore grows. Try wrapping them in wet paper towels or newspapers overnight before putting them down on foil, paper, or glass to make a spore print. There are many other forms of mushrooms, such as morels, hydenums, corals, and puffballs. If you find these different mushrooms, experiment or consult a mushroom book to locate the spores. Not all types of fungi release spores in a way that will readily make a spore print. Some have an outer surface that produce spores, others have a closed or partially closed mass of spores. In these cases, it may be necessary to cut into the fruiting body to determine the color of the spores. Look at the description of the individual species to figure out how best to assess the spore color. Shaggy mane and ink caps will drop a surprising amount of black spores and leaving them overnight could provide you with enough to make ink.
You can take a spore print in the woods or fields by bringing some aluminum foil and enclosing a mushroom cap inside the foil. A spore print will not always be successful as some mushrooms are too young or old to produce spores. Mushrooms collected at higher elevations will typically not produce spore prints at lower elevations. Sometimes the colors can vary depending on the thickness of the spore print. In addition to being used for the identification of wild mushrooms, spore prints can also be used to cultivate mushrooms. Sterility is important in all aspects of growing mushrooms. Bacteria or mold can keep them from growing altogether, but may also result in contaminated mushrooms. If you want to make spore prints for mushroom cultivation, you should try to do everything in a sterile environment to avoid contamination. This includes sterilizing everything you are using before you start. Place the mushroom cap onto a piece of aluminum foil instead of a piece of paper. When the spore print is made, the spores may still be slightly wet, so you should let the print dry for at least an hour. Then the aluminum can be sealed and placed into a sterile Ziploc bag in a fridge. When properly stored, spore prints can last several years. The dry spores can be mixed into sterile water and added to a syringe. Although many mushroom growers purchase spore syringes from suppliers rather than make their own.